The last relationship I want to cover is that of proportions or comparisons. If you have multiple categories and want to show how the magnitude of each compares to every other, you can use a stacked or unstacked bar chart. These bar charts, however, can also be used to show how a distribution changes over time between the categories. If you remember from the previous video, we mentioned that bar charts, and in this case, what the author labels as a column chart, can be used to represent a distribution. And if we simply put every column of a bar chart side by side and visualize how it changes, we can compare each of the categories. And last but not least, we get to deal with some food. Pie charts and donut charts convey proportions of a whole. I tend to shy away from pie charts because they can be visually misleading and rather use a stacked bar or simply a table to represent the proportions of the whole.